Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can use Ansible to create VLANs on your switches. We will be using the concepts of Ansible loops that we discussed in the last video. So let's get going. I'll check the Ansible host file first. Let's see Ansible hosts. So we have site one switches, site two switches, and then a group called switches. So I'll just use the group called switches so it covers switches from the both sides and I want to confirm that there is no SSH key checking in my Ansible config file ansible.cfg and I should have grabbed it for checking all right host key checking is disabled so I can start writing the playbook so starting with this this playbook will create VLANs 100, 200, 300 and 400 on all switches. Hosts will be switches, gather facts, false, connection will be local and variables I will define a variable called CLI with username NMS and password Cisco and this time I will define a second variable as well and that variable will be called VLANs and this variable will have VLAN number 100 that will be defined core VLAN 200 that will be monitoring VLAN 300 access, VLAN 400 guest Wi-Fi. So I have the VLAN numbers and VLAN names in our VLANs variable which is a dictionary variable with key and value pairs and then I can start defining the tasks. My first task is to create the VLANs. Events. I will be using iOS underscore config module. I will provide it CLI variable. And I will use lines and parents. So what I want to do is I want to push this configuration like this. I am in uh, configuration mode and I want to do VLAN say 100 and then name and the name of the VLAN test for example. This is the configuration that I want to pass. So I will need to be in this mode VLAN underscore 100 then I can name the VLAN. So the parent will be VLAN item dot value. So these are item dot keys and these are item dot values and that will be name item dot key. So first I will enter VLAN item dot value. This is V sorry this should have been item dot key and that should be item dot value. So I should be in item dot key because these are the keys. So I will enter VLAN 100 and then name core VLAN 200 name monitoring VLAN 300 name access VLAN 400 name guest Wi-Fi and now I would say with underscore dict and I will define the dictionary that is VLANs. Make a note of the indentation. This is not within iOS underscore config module. So I just recap it. I have with underscore date. This is a list of dictionaries which has these key value pairs, these key value pairs. And from those key value pairs, first I pick VLAN item dot key and I enter into the VLAN mode and then I 
name each VLAN using the item dot value, the values in the VLANs dictionary. So that should do to create the VLANs. Next thing I want to do is I just want to make sure my first task is done. I just want to do show VLAN brief and print the output to the screen. Show VLAN brief. And I will use iOS underscore command module. Provider will be CLI. And commands will be show VLAN brief. So as you know, if there is only one command, I can just type it in line. If I had more than one commands, I will have to use them as a list. Then finally, print output to screen. But before I can do that, I will need to just add output of my last command in a variable. VLAN brief. I will just call it VLAN underscore brief debug variable is equal to vlan underscore brief dot std out std out underscore lines so that should do i should be able to create the vlans using this task and then i will do show vlan brief and save output in vlan underscore brief variable and then i can see the output on the screen so let's try to copy and paste it on my Ansible controller and run it to see if it works. VI make VLANs.YML Ansible dash playbook make VLANs.YML so it's trying to create the VLANs now and apparently it has done it. So switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4. VLAN 100 is created, VLAN 200 is created, 300 is created and 400 is created. Now it's trying to print output. Alright, so as you can see we have successfully created VLAN 100, 200, 300 and 400 on switch 1, switch 2, switch 3 and switch 4. And they are nicely named as we would have expected them to be. And we can also assign them to the relevant ports if we wanted. We could just go into the interface and we could have a list of interfaces and then within each interface we can assign the VLANs. But I will leave it here, I will leave that for you as an exercise to take some ports and assign them the newly created VLANs. So I'll end this video here and I will talk to you in the next video.